Welcome to Autumn Approved, a channel where we review all things that make parenting easier and to see if my daughter Autumn approves. On this episode, we're going to compare the Veer XL, the Bob Renegade, and the Gladly Anthem 4. These three wagons have very similar aesthetic and can fit at least three children. They also maneuver very similarly in that you're leading with the larger wheels versus the wheels that are pivoting. So keep that in mind when you're shopping for a stroller wagon. These particular ones will maneuver differently. They push more like a dolly versus a traditional stroller wagon. We'll be focusing on the Vera XL and the Anthem 4 in this video since I just reviewed the Bob in a previous video which I'll link below. We're going to start with some measurements on the Veer. You can see that there's pretty good clearance under the canopy and that's my 4 year old for reference. Each bench has two three-point harnesses and should be able to fit two children. These measurements should give you a good idea of how much space you'll have in the carriage for the children who will be riding. The sidewall measurements vary because there's a slight curve in the framing. I will highlight here that of the three, the Veer XL does have the biggest footwell, so more foot space, especially if you're going to have older children riding. The wheel measurements are as follows. The Veer has an adjustable handlebar, so these are the measurements of the different heights. The Veer comes with a snack tray that snaps on and this is how you fold it down. You first have to remove all the accessories and then there are two triggers on the back of each seat where you can fold down the seats first and then the side walls. Then fold down the handlebar and you're good to go. As for the weight, this is the Veer's weight without any accessories on, so just the main wagon and two cup holders. Onto the Gladly Anthem 4. The canopy clearance is a couple inches shorter than the Veer XL. And based on the measurements, the inside space of the carriage is just a tad smaller than what the Veer XL provides. And you can notice here that each seat does still have two three-point harnesses per bench, so you can fit two kids per bench, but it does have more fabrics than the Veer. One of the draws of the Veer is that you can hose it down, and this one you would have to spot clean the fabrics, but it is a more comfortable seat for the child. And the handlebar does not adjust, so that was just the regular height of the handlebar. The wheels, however, are the exact same size as the Veer XL. The fold can be engaged by pushing on the button and sliding on that lever on the seat right where the basket is, and then all of it should collapse downward. You can fold this down without having to remove the snack tray. The basket is also removable in case you want to stand it up to fold. As for the weight, it does weigh a little bit more, but that's with all of the accessories on the wagon, including the nap mat. All three wagons do have a similar brake system where it is just a pedal and they do come with certain accessories. All of them come with a parent cup holder and a snack tray, but only the Anthem and the Bob come with the canopies. The Veer, as you can see here, I only have one canopy because I only purchased one canopy. You can also purchase a basket for the Veer, which you cannot do with the Bob. They don't have any current storage accessories available at the moment. 
The Anthem, however, does come with the storage basket as well as the nap mat. Please check out the videos of the Veer and the Anthem's two-seater versions for any terrain footage. And I hope that this will help you make a decision that's right for your family. Till next time!